Hi guys, welcome back. Today I've been invited down to Carfish South by my good buddy Grant Williams. Uh, he said he had a weekend pass for me, so he said come down, hang out, maybe get out with him, do a do a skid ride. Although his passenger seat has been auctioned off to a Sporting Bear, so unless there's a no-show, I probably won't be going out with him. But there's a couple of other mates here as well, so hopefully I'll be able to get out with someone. I've bought my lids just in case, because you never know. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a good day. Super Gav, I found your next car mate. I mean, it might not be quite bold enough for you. And I'll be honest, looking, in, looking at it a bit closer, it probably could do with lowering a bit and some spaces on there. But I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll sort that out. What's going on you? You got sticky throw again? <laughs> Good lad. Well, that was a bit of a random one. Literally in a last minute turn of events, I was walking through the paddock, saw that Rob had a spare passenger seat, so I grabbed my lid and jumped in with him. So I'm now gonna cut through to some uh, dodgy uh, phone footage, because that's all I had on me. I didn't have time to rig up my cameras. And see how we got on.
five minutes later. enjoyed that guys honestly what a bit of kit I think it's a Chevy V8 450 horsepower um, he switches it to rear-wheel drive so he can do those massive smoky burnouts I didn't realize till I jumped in the car with him he went oh by the way we're gonna try and do a rolling burnout for the entire lap which he did um, rear tires have still got loads of tread on so now he's thinking he might go for a world record attempt longest burnout because um, we think we've actually already broken it or obviously nobody from Guinness World Records was here so um, yeah I think they're gonna get in touch with uh, Guinness World Records and see if they can uh, do the longest burnout which would be obviously awesome now that Rob's part like that I can see why my feet were getting so hot literally the exhaust runs straight underneath the floor pan of the car and my feet were so hot I thought my shoes were gonna melt Jerry was saying because he wants to do six skids like the uh, like the drift boys but obviously his truck is four-wheel drive with massive monster tires he um, he converts it to rear-wheel drive but it's very technical he basically takes out the front prop <laughs> so there's no power going to the front diff I mean why not <laughs> I've just been told there's a spare passenger seat going with my new mate Matt Denham in his 700 horsepower 2JZ Nissan S13. And we're going to go and close out the show by doing some massive, massive skids. <laughs> so I've just jumped in with Matt Denham. Nice. We're going to go and rip some massive skids in the finale of the show. It is. So we are actually part of the closing out of the show. So they are. So these, what are these Ultra 4s? Ultra 4s going out first, a uh, couple of big, big V8 trucks, uh, then uh, three drivers from Japspeed. And this is a Nissan S13? S13, we're running a 2JZ and it's got, uh, it's turned down to 700 brake horsepower. Turned down reliable. to 700 horsepower? It is, uh, just for reliability. It's got me in wow. it. And, uh, what will it run to? It, um, with a turbo change, just make it a bit of a bigger turbo, well over a thousand. So, wow, she's a she's a well she's, to go. She's a go and go. She's good to go. She is. <laughs> oh, mate, a world of people too. Good. And I see sequential box as well. Yep, sequential six speed here. No mucking about. No hydro handbrake, steering wheel, pedals. That's all you need. That's all you need. Literally all you need. All these buttons. I've been told I'm not allowed to touch them, so I push that, push that, and I'll go. And away you go. That is it. So bigger. Oh, pretty, mate, a world pretty of simple, too. but uh, just. Seem to work. Oh mate, I'm really looking forward to it. It's been ages since I had a good skid ride, so. Good. What a pleasure. What a pleasure, mate. I'm hot in here already. It's bloody hot. I'm going to race it. Whose idea was it to put Perspex windows in?
didn't really know what to do with my cameras, but I'm so glad we had obviously one facing forwards because we got all that. That's going to be brilliant. Mate, that was sick, man. Absolutely sick. You see him pop his front wing off? Yeah, I thought that was going to come over to us. I, I didn't see what happened. I think he just popped up on the curb. I think he was, I think he puts his inside wheel on the grass. And the wheel comes up. And he also hit me to get one of the bollards. Maybe. We hit we a bollard. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, I was like, That's just there. an absolute masterclass, mate, like, honestly. Really That's so that. good. So That's good. Right <laughs> it's safe to say doesn't get any better than that one absolutely mega run massive thanks to Matt who's just there now signing autographs and chatting to all the guys who want to come and chat to him about his drift car I mean absolutely amazing what a bit of kit so I've just had a bit of bad news I've just come to find Grant who was closing the show out with one of his epic mega burnouts actually with Paul Smakey Smith drifting around him while he was doing a burnout And uh, his engine's let go, uh, so that's uh, engine out in the bin or maybe a rebuild, but um, yeah, not good news for Grant, that's a bit of a shame. So yeah, that's not good, obviously that's supposed to be on the inside of the engine, and what's even more annoying is this is Grant's granddad's original engine for the car, so that's even more of a shame. That's my mate Justin's rat rod, I mean look at this weapon. <laughs> God, honestly, if I can remember rightly, I think it said it's a 7.6 litre supercharged V8 with 810 horsepower, and he's been doing some mega Top Gear burnouts. <laughs> Look at the state of this. I think, Justy, mate, you got your money's worth out of that. <laughs> Look at the state of this. Mega. So there we go guys, Car Fest South. That's a wrap. Big thumbs up to my buddy Grant for inviting me up. Massive shout out to Rob and Matt as well for taking me around the course and absolutely killing their tyres. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. to come to Carfest and get a passenger ride with Grant Williams, not really what I had in my mind. Pete's bloody walking. <laughs>